All right, for reals. Nope. God <laughs> damn it. Fucking Adobe Creative Cloud. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to see about your proxies. I don't even know why you're... Uh, fuck. All, right, all right, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Look, we're on the record. I'm not stopping. I ain't stopping. There we go. It gets worse the more you download. It gets worse. Don't make me play that song. No, don't. Here we go. Go. Uh, uh. Oh! M-G-W-T-F-L-O-L-B-B-Q. Welcome to Great Night. Greatest night we've ever had. I'm your... Co-host Brian Brushwood joined yeah. by my co-host, the inimitable Justin Robert Young. Oh hell what is yeah! Up, J R Y. Yeah 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 yeah. Uh, uh, old school, more ways than one. Yeah. Uh, Will Ferrell's here. So is Vince Vaughn. <laughs> yep. Luke Wilson. Yep. Uh, uh it's the Dan secret, Band. It's, it's in a breakout performance. Is here. They're the ones who sang the Total Eclipse of the Heart cover. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I fucking need you more than ever. Yeah. Uh, no, I was going to say uh, 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 more ways than one, meaning everything broke. That's that's old school. Everything's broke? Well, I mean, everything did not function according to plan. Well, what? Hey, you want to know what, Brian? Hey. Been a challenging year for a lot of people. Uh, name seven. Doug, mm. Alan, yep. People who live in Ukraine. Mm, I can tell this game's getting more difficult. No, by the it's <laughs> not. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, who else? Who else has had a rough year? Uh, Blossom, who just got fired off Jeopardy. Why? Was it a Me Too thing? No, she's <laughs> Blossom. Well. Why would she get me too I guess it's, it is it is a progressive uh, day and age. No, I, I don't know. She got fired up Jeopardy. Probably because she shouldn't have been there to begin with. Everybody wanted the the Jeopardy man, Ken Jennings, to take over for Alex Trebek. And now now it's uh, as, it, as it should be. Uh, the Jeopardy man. Yeah. He puts the world in Jeopardy. But nobody's <laughs> upset about it because it's Ken Jennings and you have to do it in the form of a question. Well, but yeah, I think what it was was that Mayim Balik in, in the press conference was like, uh, I have a PhD and mm. I'm famous and beloved as an actor who's yes. excellent at the job. And then Ken Jennings said, if you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. And all of a sudden, everybody started applauding. Mm. And then they booed <laughs> my embellic. And then somebody from the back yelled, PhD's nuts. <laughs> Man, and I thought that was rude. Okay. Uh, uh, you know what? Yeah. Hey, are you in a bad? I mean, like, look, we're 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 recording this. We had to not stream because there was a problem with the stream, and that's fine. But Brian, I need to lift your spirits because it's the end of the year. We're done with the holidays. We need to get all that bad mojo cleared out. <laughs> bad mojo of the holidays is what we need to clear out. No, 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 just <laughs> gunk, gunk in the system. You know. Like, uh, there's a lot of stuff that happens that whenever you're interacting with a lot of people, you got a lot of pressures during the holidays. Sure, there's the cheer. Uh, 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 the, the mood is up. The spirit's right. That, that, that's what the holidays are, are about. We're simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Oh, uh, by the way, have you heard all of the covers of that song that don't involve the Radio Shack? Womp, 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 no. Womp, womp. Yeah, no. I, is it I, good? I, I think, no, I, I mean, they're exactly the same song only they lack the part that is triggering for everybody the womp 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 you think that's the part that triggers people uh yes I not do. the simplistic lyrics because i think usually people make fun of the simplistic lyrics uh you know what now that i think of it maybe some of the covers have like uh, complex uh bell arrangements or something mm, the, the, the they really uh, uh lean into the ring dong ding dong part 
Uh, well, I mean, they they really enhance the nuance of what mm -hmm. otherwise bring out the subtle notes, the subtle notes of simply sub having exactly. a wonderful. Christmas a lot time. of people think that it's just too simplistic, mm -hmm. but it's that's not necessarily the case. It's rich. It's a rich tapestry. It's like a magic eye. The closer you look, the more you see. <laughs> Well, in that case, the farther away you look, the more you see. I mean, according to you, scientists. Okay. Uh, Sounds like somebody didn't simply have a wonderful Christmas time the way you're all you're all knotted up. Wait, wait. You accusing me of working very hard to support my family during the most wonderful time of the year? Don't need to be defensive. Don't need to be defensive. <laughs> We're all friends here, man. This is we're trying to clear out everything from 2023. We're trying to clear it all out. The holidays are a lot of pressure. This year, some of it went really well. Some of it didn't. You want to know what? All of it, we got to move it out. You, we are priced to move. We on, got new on, units on. coming on the floor. Can, can, can I push back a bit? Like, I know that's the cliche is at the end of every year, everyone says worst year ever, and everybody wants to say good riddance to the old year. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, let's go back to the beginning of this year. Let's go. When people were still really wound tight about COVID. Uh, that's one thing. End of 22? At beginning of, beginning of 23? Are you kidding me? Yeah. It, it was what like. Was, wait, what was the most COVID-centric element of the end of 22? Uh, well, okay. If we're going to look at 22... Which, by the way, I, I just had to check the calendar. We're in 20. Because I think, I think, look, I agree with you that there is a time warp that exists between 2020 and now. But I don't think, I don't remember people being really uptight about COVID at the end of 22. Uh, think of it this way. How many first times since the pre-times have happened in 2023? First time I went to a Disney property happened in 2023 since 2019. First time uh, we went to Vegas was in 2023 since like 2019 or whatever. I don't think that's true. Uh, I think I think we went to Vegas in 22. Oh wait, yeah, no, I guess we we created a an excellent podcast during that time. Well, that's no. that's legit. yes oh yo yeah no we definitely did yeah yeah we did the first uh, uh interviews with banachek then but 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 i don't know uh, i'm I'm, tr I'm trying to i'm trying to not do the cliche thing of of like good riddance no no no, no. I, I'm, I, I, but, but what i was saying was good and the bad all of it doesn't matter whether or not it's good and bad I, I'm, I'm with you i don't want to fall into the the fatalism of man this year sucked all my favorite celebrities died and everything bad happened like, let's clear it out. It was the calendar's fault. Shoot the calendar in the face. I'm I'm not with that. I'm with you. But let's move it all out. And that means we got to know what we're moving out. And there's only one way that we do it on this show, Brian. Oh, wait a minute. Where, 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 what am I supposed to open? You're not Which... opening nothing because I'm quizzing you on Google Trends. The Google Trends report. Oh, wait. Oh. You can't look at it or else there's not a point of it. I know. I know. I, w I was trying to bro to you, but uh, I, I, but I couldn't. I, I only have the soundboard. That's all I have. Well, then. Problem solved. You want to know what, Brian? Yep. You have me. <laughs> okay. All right. Talk me through it. What are we talking about? I'm going to give you uh, your choice. They, they separate, uh, separate them into different categories these days. Do you want people? Top 10 Googled people? Top 10 Googled passings? Or top 10 Google explained? Oh, hold on. Now, previous times that we've played this, we keep getting, we got got because it would always be like, Somebody who died. Yeah. And so now they now they've they, made a whole category yeah. of just people who Googled this, about this dead is people. this is like when Wheel of Fortune added R S T L N A and E to yes. the like just we all know you're gonna say it. Fine. Yeah. 
Uh, so, so we're doing passings. Let's do passings. Let's do passings. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ten on the board, Brian. Ten on the board. Oh, How it, many can you get off the top of the dome? Top ten passings. Uh, do do I start? Just go. Spray. Uh, Spray it. People that died in 2023. Year of our Lord, 2020. Uh, oh, my God. Now I just realized how few people I paid to do their passing. There's somebody in the band. Uh, yep. Okay. Well, there's a couple of musicians. Okay. Um, I, I, I count three musicians and one daughter of a famous musician. Oh, dear. Uh. Like, Maybe the most famous musician in America, daughter of that person. Uh, not, not, not. How about this one? Not, All right, not, me, not blanket or baby doo doo. No. <laughs> <laughs> let me. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah, let, let me. Let me. Let me just do it this way. I will describe number ten until you can get him. Okay. This legendary television personality initially started out as the host of a game show that eventually went on to name a town. Oh, uh, the host of truth or consequences. Of course he was most famous for his next job, which is still a staple in daytime television to this day. That would be some kind of uh, a soap opera. Um, no. You will be able to guess this person's name, but don't go over the total. Wait, Bob Barker? Bob Barker! No, oh, no. we lost. Oh, that's no. the worst. That's the. Uh, I, I'm not going to do a, a celebratory. Woo! Okay, all right. Bob Barker's dead. <laughs> oh, my God. Spay and neuter your pets in heaven. <laughs> I don't know if they have a problem with that in heaven, but just for laughs. All right, you ready, number nine? This yeah. became a very macabre game. Uh, uh, this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. This television sex pot not only found herself in quite a few creative conundrums in primetime television, but went on to use her thighs to create massive fame and fortune for herself in the personal improvement realm. Oh my goodness! I know, I I know who it, it's the chick from Three's Company who did the thigh master, who had blonde hair, whose name was <laughs> Hooray Christie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. Her name's not Suzanne Winters. It's Suzanne Summers. Hey! Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> we got it. Hold on. I have to, uh, I guess we'll. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot. I forgot how long that sounder went. <laughs> all right, Brian. All right, all right, hold on. Okay, all right, all right. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. This daughter of quite possibly the most famous musician on the planet went on to marry another most famous musician on the planet. It's it's the daughter of Elvis Presley, mm -hmm. but it, all I could think of is Priscilla Presley, who was, was his wife, who and was the young enough to be... Of, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Lucinda Presley. <laughs> Close. Close. <laughs> it's not 
Bart Marie Presley. <laughs> Lisa Marie Presley. <laughs> hey! oh, hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We got this. We got this. All right. Now this next person, I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um oh this is too lighthearted for this person's name. <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> you know what? Justin, just take a moment, breathe in. You got this. Oh <laughs> well, you're not gonna know the name. It's fine. Can we just say the person? Because it's a sad thing. We shouldn't be joking yes. about it. Yes, you're correct. Go ahead. Uh, Tyree Nichols was a 29-year-old uh, man beaten by Memphis police officers for roughly three minutes on the evening of January 7th when he was stopped for what police initially said was reckless driving. Moving on. Oh, shit. I don't know this person either. <laughs> I don't know this person. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Uh uh Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> this person was an American professional rally car driver, formerly, uh, uh, or sorry, uh, with Hoonigan Racing, formerly of the Monster World Rally Team and one of the co-founders of DC Shoes. Yes, Brian, Ken Block. I think we all knew it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the rest of these you should know. Okay. Nothing compares to this woman. Oh, Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> hey! We're in the lightning round. We're in the lightning round now. This man's most famous song was initially written at a Mexican bar in what is now known as the Domain. Jimmy Buffett! Hey! It may, actually, it may in fact be a moth. This name, this name, this name, this name is what you'd hear during daytime television in the 90s when the former mayor of Cincinnati mitigated plenty of disputes. Uh... Jerry, there was one episode I really did. Jerry, like. what? Uh, Springer. Hey, just so nobody thinks Seinfeld's dead. Yeah. <laughs> What's death got to do with it? Is what this woman is saying <laughs> oh my at God. the number two position. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Listen to that. She just threw it out. Really? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Brian, do you have any guesses at number one? The number one the most number Googled one. passing in the Google Trends report? Coming in at Number one, the number one person who died. Mm -hmm. Who's the best person? Well, the, the one that people were, were Googling the most. Mm. So there probably was a, a bit of a circumstance surrounding it. You'd, you'd imagine people want more information. You know, uh, when Betty White died, everyone was like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, it's 100. Like, you know. I actually, I, I, I got nothing for you. You got nothing? Yeah. So no one told you? No. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It that feels like a clue. It feels like going to be this little... way. What? What? Go on. Could he be any more dead? Could he be? 
What? Your life is life could be. You know? Blank. Jobs are joke, you're broke, your okay. love life's DOA. Feels like you're always you're, you're, stuck in wait. second gear. Hasn't been your oh, day, your week, Matthew your month. Perry. Hey! Oh. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, what wasn't the Smash Smash Mouth guy this year as well? I think so. Didn't make the list. That's fucked up. Didn't make the list. I, I kind of want to play some copyrighted music now, but I'm gonna hold to on. To play? Wait, you're just gonna randomly play Smash Mouth, or you want to play the Friends theme? Uh, because uh, number one is Matthew Perry. We should, we should, we should honor Matthew Perry. He's dead. Uh, it, Matthew Perry was curious a... decision for us to start with the dead people. <laughs> but you want to know what? We're so fucking back. The show doesn't make sense anymore. The uh, uh, Matthew Perry was a tragic one because it's like. Pretty much anyone who you know uh, kind of made public their public <laughs> battles with addiction. Yeah. It's like, and now they're dead at the age of under 60. Well, it's you, like, you, know, you know what was uh, the autopsy on that, right? Uh, 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 bladder cancer. Uh, ketamine. So apparently he was doing ketamine therapy to help him with his addiction stuff. Uh, the problem is shouldn't do ketamine and then get into the hot tub and he made he made that now fatal mistake the most google passing mistake do not ketamine has benefits you can do that and try to get over certain stuff you can also get in the hot tub should not do the both of them at the same time let that be the matthew perry lesson can you be any more of a cautionary tale? Um, you want to do movies next? <laughs> how, how did how did how did how did ketamine go so mainstream so fast? I don't know. Right? <laughs> okay, I'm glad we're finally talking. About I don't the know. Real I do know. I was at a party uh, about a year and a half ago, and somebody was in town for a ketamine convention that I didn't know. And they said, hey, do you want to do ketamine? And I said, I'd love to. I thought it was going to make me better at foosball. Brian, it didn't. Um, and then I thought about everything else that I knew about ketamine while I was getting my ass kicked in foosball. And I was like, oh, yeah. All of it was about being frozen in a moment, which is what I am now. I, 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 not right now, right now. When no, you were playing. When I was in, in, in the story, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. It's a, it did, did somebody kick the ball like into the K hole and you were just like, oh, they're in. Well, I was too in deep in it to reach the, reach the foosball handles. Ugh. It was just my little fingertips going. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Next, next segment. I want to talk about my door. Okay. You were bringing up your door. I want to talk about my door, Brian. I, I know you do. And 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 I I, I want to give you uh, uh, Justin. We've yeah. talked about how we don't often have sponsors on this show, mm -hmm. but other shows will say, "Here's the blank question of the day," brought to you by blank. Uh, <clears throat> uh, here's door talk brought to you by Justin's door. So I have a smart door lock. And then while we were on vacation and we needed people to come in and out of our house, the smart door lock broke and it didn't, it wasn't smart anymore. It was dumb. <laughs> it was just a dumb door lock. And so we came back and we thought it was going to be a, a battery issue. Turns out it wasn't a battery issue. Something was ripping through this door will stay on for a day, rip through all the batteries at night. And then the next day we'll be dead. And so I Google it. Oh, it might be this. It might be that. You need to reset it. I do everything. Finally, I'm like, okay, it cannot be anything to do with the software. It's too late. I've done everything. <laughs> it's got to be the hardware. Yeah. And so I'm like, you want to know what it is? Because in the morning, you can hear it clicking. Like it's trying to reset for something. I'll bet you. This only started happening when it got cold, that this thing is not set right, and so at night, it 
thinks that it needs to do something and it is burning through all the battery to do it, I need to physically disassemble the lock, reset it so it is cleanly set into uh, uh, the the frame of the door. The, this is the same lock. No, like you didn't go just swap it out for a new lock. Nope. Okay. Wait. When are you talking about? Well, like sometimes you buy a thing and it's broken. Yeah. And then you swap it out for a new thing and then it works. So I have not done that yet. This thing is broken. I'm trying to fix it. Yeah. Is that what you're asking? Yes. Okay. I have not gotten there yet. Okay. Spoilers for the ending. Though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I spend... Christmas Day, trying to figure this out. And I'm I'm feeling good about myself, Brian. I'm just assembling this fucking lock. I'm, I'm re-screwing everything in. And I'm like, oh, you want to know what? The, the, the screws that the door, uh, uh, that, that the lock was in, they were a little shallow. Maybe like, like it was a little loose. I put deeper screws into the door. That shit will keep it solid. And then I noticed the strike plate. And I'm like, you want to know what? The strike plate is misaligned. So so I, I'm going to guess that what you're thinking at this point is like every so often it's like trying to get like lock and it's like, I can't get yes. through. Uh, it, uh, oh, what's up with the, uh, uh, why, why is she always like this? Uh. And now that the weather is colder. It's it's being something is triggering in it that it's like ah, I'm freaking out I'm freaking out need to expend all my energy right now to figure it out and it can't because it's a fucking lock right so I'm like okay I'm rearranging the strike plate so it's cleaner I I get my screw and I'm uh, my my electric screw and uh, I'm shaving the inside of the strike like like the the wood inside so it fits cleaner and by the end of it Brian it goes. From a little bit of a, a a little bit of an effort to get it in, now effortless, effortless. And, and I by feel the way, like great. I have crushed Very, this. Some people would use an electric drill, but you used an electric screw, and that's that's the brave move. That's what we're focusing on. No, sorry, just just a little. That's what we're focusing on. I'm, I'm just noting. That's no. You want to do screw versus drill talk? <laughs> that's no. what we're doing. No. Nope. We're doing screw versus trail talk. No, but this is the problem. This is exactly what I wanted to fucking bring up because nobody wants to hear about this shit because everybody is like, oh, oh, that's what you get for having a smart lock. That's what you get for having a smart lock. Guess your smart lock isn't so fucking smart. Meh, meh. You want to know what? You want to know what? To every asshole who's thinking that right now, you're the problem. You're the problem because you are the same person who was saying to somebody who had the first regular lock why don't you just roll a boulder in front of your house <laughs> you're also seems like rolling a boulder in front of your house is easier than working with your fucking lock with your with your with your tumblers <laughs> Ugh, tumbler you might also be the reason that we're pre-recording this episode instead of streaming it live <laughs> Well, maybe if I would able to get my fucking walk my lock working then then I would I'd be able to help with this it's bullshit I always want my, I want to punch in a code. I, I should be beyond keys, Brian. I should have evolved from keys. I want to only have a code, and that, I feel, is Neanderthal. I want to just, I want the lock to know my mood. I want the lock to look at me in the eyes and say, and say, Justin, it's okay. And then it unlocks the door. Actually, you're you're not even exaggerating for the level I want. I want my lock to know my face so well that it's able to read my mood as I approach and then immediately smart house it up and be all like soothing music real quick. Soothing music. Yes. Everybody be cool. Exactly. This lock is middle of the road smart. I want really smart. But not too smart. I Don't was about to say, I was about to say, how Don't smart do you want me your up. lock? I swear to God, you fucking locks, you better knock it off trying to show me up. I don't want you being able to uh, 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 spell fragilistic expialidocious. Uh, I can't spell it. 
I can't even say it. So I don't want you showing off, locks. I, I, if it makes you feel better, I don't think anybody can spell the word you just said. Uh, you want to you rip through the game? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Hold on. I, I do want to know, uh, uh, have you re returned it yet? Is it working? Or was it? No, it literally, it was the last thing that happened. I thought I had fixed it. And then as I was hitting the lock button to leave to come here, it was like, meh, meh, meh. And I'm like, fuck you. You want to know what? Fuck you. Fuck you, dumb lock. I, I hate you. You've killed too many batteries. I'm, I'm going to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and I'm going to just buy a new one. And I don't give a shit. I don't give a uh, shit. Oh, I don't okay. care can, can, any can, of you can, live can, or die. Can we talk about like like the value of your time? Because because there's been a number of times that people in my life have uh, uh, grabbed a thing and they're like, and if it doesn't work, we can just you can just return it or I can return it or whatever. And it's like I I'm mean immediately I'm like two hours. How much is two hours worth? Almost certainly whatever the value of the thing is. Yeah. Like like. Uh, uh, you know what? Just throw it in the garbage and do two hours of whatever push-ups. What? Yeah, do two hours of push-ups and you'll be yeah. better off. Yeah, you'll be better off. Yeah. Number ten, most googled game. Game. Yeah, just name any game. A game that came out this year. Name as many as you can. I'll tell you how many are on the top list. You're a gamer, Brian. Are they, are they you love are, are playing they, games? They video games. Video games. Okay, video games. Uh... Marvel <laughs> Snap No It did not come up This year Not in the top 10 Marvel Midnight Suns No <laughs> yeah, Whatever the latest Zelda one was Zelda Tears of the Kingdom at number six. Hey! hey. That was the only Zelda one. Uh, this was a big game, but we'll, we'll go from six to one. Uh, first, a big game from Blizzard. A Oh, Diablo 4? Let's go. Let's go. Then a open world space game. Wait, Star Citizen? No, but you're close. Not a citizen. Star but slave? But a bit a big big open into the the Nathan, what do you got? Starfield. Wait, Starfield? What are it, you what not are you not down with it? No, I don't know. I don't know shit about it. You don't know Starfield? It, no. It's a big video game. Uh, I, 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 I know that there were like two games that came out at the same time and people were picking teams. One was Starfield because it was an open world something something and the other was an open world something something. Mm. Well, Starfield is number four. Number three, a Dungeons and Dragons type campaign game. Oh, Baldur's Gate. That my wife is obsessed with fucking this vampire in. Oh my God. Did she, I watched her fuck this vampire. Now she had horns and uh, uh, had blue skin and a tail. But uh, I saw this vampire's dick, Brian. I, I, oh, no, no, no. I, 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 first of all, am I right? It's Baldur's Gate 4. It is Baldur's Gate three, uh, but uh, three, I appreciate whatever. your hustle. Uh, no, but the uh, uh, my God, the level of options on Baldur's Gate is next level. Can you look up, uh, especially since this is primarily going to be an audio podcast? Just look up longest Baldur's Gate sex scenes <laughs> on YouTube. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, gate sex. Oh shit! In fact, I, man, you might have to go to another website to find them oh wait really because like i first knew a baldur's gate not because my wife here's a five it. minute one yes go let's play it okay all right show it or no show it closing around you are you ready to give yourself to me good i will join you when you go to your bed you are mine so they're doing like dominance play stuff Oh, there's... You are here. Good. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> the 
This is five minutes long. <laughs> How would you describe the animation for for people who are only listening? Uh, uh, um, uh, it looks like an advertisement on the side tab of a <laughs> pornography website, <laughs> inviting you to play the world's number one sex game. <laughs> like, tell me what the Unity engine is realistic enough that the body movements seem passable until they freeze immediately okay well Wait, thank goodness hold on. that's Here over we go. look no they did it they did it They're <laughs> oh dear this is are, are we about to get in trouble no, oh my no. god they're sticking fingers in elf ears <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck uh, my god somebody uh, you get you, you got you got to give me assurances about what we're <laughs> You're, it's on YouTube already. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I, I forgot. Of all the nights to not be on Twitch. <laughs> Uh-oh. Where are those fingers going? Wait, wait. Uh, uh, <laughs> one of her three pussies. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I don't even... Keep going. No, that's the point. <laughs> the point is that it doesn't stop. What is happening? <laughs> What is happening? I feel like I feel like I feel like the only way to remain a comedy podcast is to cut away look, the two look she's got middle aged men. It. Describe because this it. Is, no, Describe this it. Is, no, you're the gamer. Oh my god! What are you doing this now? This is straight up pornography. What is happening, Justin? This is not. How, how is it that you are are telling me to do? God damn it! Okay, well, it must be over now. Oh, no, it's over. Okay. Okay, all right. My God. Number two is connections. Uh, uh, I don't know that one. Uh, number one, Brian. Totally uncontroversial property that was a gigantic hit game. Everyone loves everyone involved in the creation of this intellectual property. Universally beloved active Twitter user whose open world game is the number one most Googled game of the year, according to Google Trends. <sighs> Why, you could put this game on a witch trial and they'd be found guilty of being the number one most Googled game. Uh, 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 really? Hold on. I, 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 are we talking PC or console or, or, or... I think it's probably on everything. Okay, so that means it's not a Nintendo property. Nope. Uh, nope. Again, Brian. Put this creator of a famous intellectual property that was then made into a game on a witch trial. I've, I've been reading too many books about Sam Bankman Freed. Uh, so I keep thinking of, mm. of, of oh no I don't know what about a podcast you listen to that had witch trial in the title oh 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 goodness yes uh, of <laughs> course it's the Harry Potter game Harry the, the, Hogwarts yeah, Legacy yeah. Okay. All right. number All one right. <sighs> This is uh you're doing really good at making me feel real dumb. I'm gonna I'm gonna add the heartbeats again just so I there we go. Okay. Alright, this one I'm not gonna ask you about. We're just gonna do top ten. This God is a category <laughs> This is a category called uh, how often. All right. All right. Number ten. This is the most uh Googled how often. How often is Punxsutawney Phil correct? People uh, were very interested in old Punxsutawney Phil to find out whether or not they were going to get four more weeks of winter. 
I thought it was six more weeks, but that's okay. Uh, I don't fucking know. He's a goddamn gopher, Brian. He well, has meanwhile, you're the, you're the newsman, and I'm the magician. So. How often does California get hurricanes was number nine. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. So, so oh, we're just running them down. Uh, first of all, why would... Uh, I guess they would get like a... Do they call them hurricanes when they hit? I California? always thought, yeah, that maybe they would be typhoons, like or or cyclones. But somebody, or... somebody else was saying that it wasn't necessarily that. I, no, no, no. It's, it's actually hemispheric. It's not by ocean. I always thought the typhoons were in the, uh, the in the Pacific, and then hurricanes. Yeah, were but, in they, the Atlantic. But, but they call them cyclones out, out by the Indian Ocean, right? I don't know. Mm. I've never been there. Okay. Number eight, how often is the State of the Union? Oh, my God. That is... Uh, 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 I bet you I, they no, were no, all no, 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 I, I, I don't want to stop you, but I have to figure out which one is the one for... Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Number eight. Number eight, how often is the State of the Union? Uh, Nathan, do you know what the answer to that is? Constitutionally, you should get frequent updates. It's yeah. usually annually. You know usually. What? Correct. You know what? Uh, Special report. Nathan knows this shit. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, hey, here's an uncontroversial one. Number seven. How often should you get a COVID booster? <sighs> you know what? Constitutionally, you should get them <laughs> often, often, <laughs> annually. <laughs> How, number six, how often is Friday the 13th in October? Uh, are we supposed to guess the answer? No, no, no. I'm just telling you. We can talk about whatever. We're uh, trying to spark conversation here. Actually, do you, do you want to guess? You, uh, uh, I, can, I can actually Google it. Uh, well, then you're just contributing to the problem. Seven, seven years? Actually, uh, you know what? That does kind of track. About once, my advisor has informed me that it should be about once every seven years. Incorrect. Once uh, every 11 years. Oh. Once every 11 Seven years. 11. Whatever happened to building nine? <laughs> uh... Here we go. How often? How often do trains derail? A lot of derailed trains this year. I think there are fewer than than average, but there's more focus on them. Hey, Brian, here is a question for you. How often is the World Cup? <laughs> are you fucking serious? How often? What is wrong with your face? <laughs> How often? Stop playing. Stop fiddling with your board, every, Brian. Every Answer year the is the World Cup, isn't it? Stop it. No? Is that no. not? No? No. Wait. How many years can there be? Uh, uh, a lot. We're at 2023 right now, and that's about to change. <laughs> how, many, how many cups can there be? Uh, there's only one World Cup. <sighs> Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to go to Google. No. Type in the words. No, How no. often is the world Stop cup? Stop it. Don't. Let's sit in it. How often? All right, so you think that it's an annual competition. I thought, past tense, yeah. after your, your response. Uh, I remember. It, I, I, remember I, 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 I will say it is a multi-year competition. Okay, so this Compare is. Compare it to other multi-year competitions. This is one of those, like, similar to, like, the Olympics or yes. what have you. Yes. Um, I remember in 2008-ish, there was the Vuvu Zela one. Yep. Uh, that was in South Africa. I guess, where, maybe, maybe, is it every Vuvu four Zelas? years? Every four years. There we go. Hey. Hey. Number yeah. three, how often is the blue moon? Uh, the blue moon is defined as two times that a uh, full moon occurs in the same month. Which is rare, which is why we get the phrase once in a blue moon. Mm -hmm. um, I, it feels like every other year. Like once years. every 33 months is a blue moon. 
wait, did, that's that's pretty close to me getting that right. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll allow it. We'll allow it. Oh, uh, How on. often is the World Baseball Classic that happened this year? Thrilling end to the World Baseball Classic as American Mike Trout was in the final at bat against his Anaheim Angels teammate Shohei Otani for Japan. It was a big, big moment. The World American Baseball Classic. Just the World Baseball Classic. But America thanks you for getting its name in there. <laughs> the World Baseball Classic. It feels like they just beat Am the America Wash was in the final with Japan, and they lost. Shohei Otani uh, 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 struck his teammate Mike Trout out swinging. It, 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 this sounds like something that uh, you would just watch the Washington Generals show up to and get defeated by. <laughs> Like a bunch of baseball people would just show up with bats and beat the Washington Generals, and then they would do the popcorn gag. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna say every every two years. I think that's four as well. Oh God, get out of here! And then here, this was actually a meme, and I will ask you this honestly. Number one, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? I would say were you, were, you, were you hip to this meme? No. I that I men, would, that I, I men will are say constantly that, thinking about the Roman Empire. I, I would say I once per week and usually in the context of their numerals mm. or in the context of the stoic uh Marcus Aurelius or in the context of stabbing somebody in the back. Yeah. That's often when I'm thinking about if you can't spot the Caesar in your crew, then you're Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> like what, what is the right amount of times to think about the Roman Republic? Because after all, Empire. they only or, or the Roman. Well, uh, they were a Republic for a while as well. Um, All right, nerd. Oh, oh God, God, see, God <laughs> fucking nerd. Apparently, one of us thinks more about it than the other. Uh, 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 they did occupy like 30% of all of civilization. So according to brandwatch.com, this was a TikTok meme where women were asking their male counterparts how often they think about the Roman Empire and the men were willingly answering almost daily uh, while women were befuddled as they have almost never thought about the Roman Empire. Mm. Mm. I mostly think about how they still have like concrete from like the Roman Empire. Like when I when I went to Rome, it's like it's a lot of old shit out there. Well, and I, they I, still have like the uh, 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 their their water system the Is aquifers the, yeah, yeah. The aquifers uh, uh, shit. Uh, did you know that 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 the roman empire like straight up forgot how to make concrete for a yeah. hot minute <laughs> i saw something that that people were trying to reverse engineer it recently and and what they found was it was some kind of living organism almost like bread and that's the reason why it is uh, still so strong is because it's on some level self-repairing. Uh, I, th I think it was a particular type of ash, if I'm remembering the story correctly. But luckily, both of us are dipshits on the internet, and we don't have to be right about nothing. Take nope. that. Uh, pimping. All right, this one is pretty good. <laughs> Explained. This was people who were befuddled by things that happened this year. Mm. And they just went to Google and said, wait a minute. What happened? What happened? So these are not all things that happened this year. Many of them are. Uh, Title 42. Explain. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that's equal protection under the law based on uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, sex, race, ethnicity, gender. Oh, never mind. What's no. Title 42? Title, Title 42, 42 is the college were one? Where migrants being returned uh, uh, over the border because of COVID restrictions that was uh, rolled back. So that was a COVID era restriction that the Biden administration had to roll back as part of the 
stuff on the border. If I would have known it, I would have found a way to skip it because it's not funny. <laughs> How about this one? The NBA in-season tournament explained. In-season tournament? Yeah. Is what? Uh, uh, this is what leads up to like the real semifinals leading to the finals? or You actually had to deal with it personally. I did? Yep. You had to deal with the finals of the NBA in-season tournament this year. I remember gambling in Vegas with you. Nope. No? Okay. Not that. More recent. Oh, did they do something here? And did they do something to Austin? Nope. It was in Vegas. It was in Vegas. Mm -hmm. But... Oh, wait. Was. I remember traffic being bad. Nope. Oh. You were not in your car. <sighs> you were on this property, in fact. Something happened. In, did it have to do with F1? It was at the end of the day. Yeah. You were having an event on this property. And several people decided to peel off to another part of your grotto to set up a laptop to watch a basketball game. That sounds familiar. Was that like a week or two ago? Uh, yeah, two or three weeks ago. For what event? I'm supposed to remember what you said a whole sentence ago. It was uh, the NBA creative workshop. No, no. The thing that you know about. <laughs> oh, oh, got it. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 yeah, the, the workshop that, that Matt Donnelly and I did. And Matt Donnelly was like, yeah, no, no, no. It's totally cool that we're here doing this thing. It's like, but man, this, this laptop just was so shiny over here. And luckily... He didn't set it up. Luckily, uh, uh, my trusted co-host, Chester Robert Young, set it up. Did not. Kuhan did. But okay. All right. Uh, but. Uh, uh, me and Kuhan and Matt did watch that basketball game. Although, it does give us a very organic way to mention that uh, do you have uh, – uh, I saw you send out an email today about – Oh yeah, like uh, I'm I'm doing more mentoring stuff on on the independent creator side of things. Uh, Justin has challenged me, rightly, to uh, 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 pick two dates less than three weeks away, mm -hmm. <laughs> so that people can come and actually learn how to be an independent creator, uh, which I hereby proclaim I shall do before the end of this year, which is four days away. All right. Number eight, Loki ending explained. Did you watch Loki? No, I still haven't. I was told by my friend Justin Robert Young that it was pretty good. It was. I mean, look, we're grading on a curve with Disney Plus stuff. Uh, it is. I liked it better than season one of Loki. Really? Because I thought season one of Loki took a big fat dip downward like in the final three episodes, this one, I kind of feel like started off treading water and then got more interesting. Although I don't know if I love where it ended, but it is worth watching. I mean, all, all the talent is great and you get to say goodbye to Jonathan majors. Cause he, he just, he, he kanged himself. Oh, <laughs> do, do we want to talk about that? Is that a 2023 story? Uh, uh, it's not on here, but we can talk about it. Yeah. Uh, homie, I, homie just said uh, 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 Kang died on the way back to his home planet. <laughs> I, I do not know the story about the actor that uh, allegedly uh, led to his disinvolvement with the identity of being the new head villain of the, an entire phase of an MCU. I, I look... I don't know enough about it to have a solid opinion. Mm. Everything that I read through secondhand reports of the the court stuff seemed like it was a drunken argument on all sides that got out of hand. 
Uh, but I don't think that uh, a major corporation cuts and runs unless there are other problems uh, uh, that are that are surrounding it. Disney decided, uh, yeah, this guy we've been setting up for an entire Avengers movie turns for half out a, a decade. Yeah, it turns out a lot of stuff hasn't been going well around him. So uh, maybe it's just best we hit the reset button for a lot of different reasons. And I don't know. This is the rumor today. X-Men versus Avengers. Can I interest you in a little introduce a little X-Men? Wouldn't they it be great if Avengers? like Avengers? Like, I don't know. Wouldn't it be great if like the real problem was that uh, it was a shouting match at a Hooters where one party was saying Silver Age and the other was shouting Golden Age <laughs> just back and forth? If only. If only. Uh, uh, here we go. White noise explained. Why on earth would you need to explain white noise? I think it's a movie. What is the movie White Noise? Brian, I wish I knew. Moving on. <laughs> Beef explained. Now, Beef is a movie, right? Beef is a Netflix show. Yeah. Starring... Uh, homeboy from Walking Dead and the stand-up Darryl. comic lady, Ali Wong. Ali Wong and, oh no, what's the guy from Walking Dead's name? Oh, I can't remember. You I'm going to... Not Rooker, not Rooker. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Bradley snap. Cooper. No, it's, he's not in Walking Dead. Anyway, Beef uh, it's uh, uh, two people, and they run into each other in a parking oh, lot. Oh, this is they the this mad. is the one about road rage. Yes, yeah. It starts as a road rage thing. Yeah, Nathan, did you have it? Uh, pulling up the actor's name. All right. Well, 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 well. He's doing that. We'll skip over number five: Israel Palestine conflict explained, <laughs> uh, and we will move on to a uh, uh, reptile explained. Reptile is a movie? Yeah. I mean, now, now we're getting into... Uh, I mean, at this point, it's just, you're, you're like uh, amphibians explain. Yeah, no, no. Rep Reptile is a Netflix movie. What is that one about? Stephen Steven, Yeun. Oh, Stephen Yeun, yeah. Oh, I know. That's the reason I was pissed about that, because I knew a dude in college named Stephen Yoon. But he's de definitely not that Stephen Yeun. Uh, they were both. Uh, uh, Asian, by the way, he's that he's make me racist. He's amazing in uh, uh, incredible. I, I I still haven't watched all of season two of in in uh, Invincible. Sorry, not incredible. This Invincible. one. This one you'd like. Uh, Silo explained. What's there to explain about Silo? It like, was the it, number three. It literally is an explainer of the book Wool. I don't understand. Listen to yourself. Oh. Listen to what you just said. Yes. It's an explainer of the book Wool. Like, that's something that people would know. I, well, I... Yeah. You're just bragging at this point. Yep. You're like, I've read books. Yep. I've read a book named Wool. Yep. And if you just read Wool Explained, you'd be like, what? Am I trading it for wood? In Settlers of Catan? Oh my god. <laughs> All right. You don't get to you don't get to subvert my knowing things by knowing an even deeper level of things. <laughs> and yet here we are. <laughs> no one will save you, explained. Oh, good God. Uh, 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 do, do you know that property? That is it, apparently a video game. No one will save you? Is it good? Can you explain it to me? <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, I have I have no idea what that is. And then uh, here's the last one, the number one, uh, uh, and I did see this. The menu explained. Did you see the menu? Is is that like vaguely cannibalistic? No, Ray Fines and Anya Taylor Joy. Uh, it is a movie where. A, uh, a, a several select people are brought to an ex uh, extraordinarily exclusive shishi uh, a dining experience with a famous chef. But boy, is there more than they bargain for when they get there. Explain. 
spoilers for the menu. Uh, it's a suicide pact. And so the, the uh, chef essentially hates everybody that is there for varying different reasons. Uh, and our heroine, Anya Taylor-Joy, you find out is a hooker who was only brought on the trip because the guy she was coming with uh, really was a foodie who wanted to die with this chef and his girlfriend backed out. So he brought a hooker because you could not come alone. You had to come as a couple, like your reservation. But everybody was else out. was in on, on some were, some were not. Uh, there's a lot of faints of whether or not they're going to get rescued. I, I thought it was, I thought it was good. I have problems with the motivations of uh, uh, how things end up, but uh, uh, I thought it was certainly worth seeing. It was a good movie. So, uh, Callie, she'd be into it? <laughs> Definitely a Josie movie. I don't know. I don't okay. know if it's a Callie movie. All right. But only because you've been feeding Josie slasher movies since she was five. Oh, I, re I remember Josie was 12 when she was like, can we watch The Shining? I was like, well, I was six. <laughs> Uh, all right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh oh. I was going to do memes, top 10 Googled memes. Oh, no. We, we, I don't we, know half of them. You and I got this. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what. You know what? Uh, 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 Nathan, go position yourself over by one of those mics. Tap the mic so I can turn turn this on because, because uh, Nathan is uh, less than half of either of our ages, I think. Here, keep tapping. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right. There Wait a minute. You're a Zoomer? Technically. Really? Yeah. How old are you? 20. Talk into the mic. I'm 20. Yeah. No, yeah, you, you have to eat that one. Pull, 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 it up, pull it up to your face. It moves. There yeah, I'm about 20. Jesus. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know they still did that. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We all learned something. Uh, uh, so, all right. How about this? We'll, we'll play this game with the memes. Uh, do you know it or do we, or how many of us know it? We'll, okay. we'll play that game. All right. Number 10, submarine. Wait, the submarine I meme. Uh, I know the submarine meme. What is that? It's like a boat, but underwater. <laughs> no. Nope. What, what do you got, Justin? Oh, I don't know it. I have no idea. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, that one. Do you know it? Yep. We'll explain it then. The submarine meme was oh god, I forget the company that like took. I, I could put you on screen, right? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, all right. Do I need to move? Because no, 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 no. It's fine. You you look oh. more mysterious this way. Works for me. Um, the submarine meme, if I'm remembering my shit correctly, um, was when Ocean Gate was the company yeah sent people down to the titanic and then it oh fuck yeah. done done crash and then they yeah. and 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 the whole world was like oh should we hurry or not hurry and then weirdly and perversely the whole world was like oh thank goodness they collapsed like a tin can all at once yeah it was pretty fucked i remember being on reddit just seeing all that shit go down and yeah it was a interesting display of humanity you got all sides of the spectrum really the marketplace of ideas was a booming. Uh, number nine, Selena Gomez. The Selena Gomez meme. Selena Gomez. I, I, I'm certain. I so if, if if you if you Google Selena Gomez meme, you'll be able to see it. It'll come up. It's uh, apparently just her. Sh should I? In a no, yeah, it's fine. It's, okay, it's just, right. it's just her looking uh, uh, askance in a, uh, a southwestern blanket. Uh, 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 uh hey Zoomer, why yep. the fuck is this interesting? Oh Jesus! <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> Jesus! <Ryan. laughs> I just googled it. You told me to Google it. God damn it! <laughs> Well, I'll, don't fucking blame me when you don't have any element of professionalism. 
At least I half knew that you were going to show a bunch of fucking <laughs> super elongated sapphic erotica when it came to Baldur's Gate. God damn. That just went on. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> okay. All right. What else? All right. Uh, memes. Memes. Animan Studios. Animan. Is number seven. A nope. N Over I three. N -N Over three on Animan Studios. Can I Google to see what they might be referencing? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Give me a Yeah, minute. live your life, man. <laughs> <laughs> you do you. Yeah. Animan. 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 Doing whatever it is. And, I and feel like this is really where Brian, you and I, uh, we've we've detached from the mothership. We're now just we're now just a satellite. Oh, we we uh, used escape we, pod. We used to be the cool we're, kids. We're, we're just floating out in fucking space, broadcasting whatever the fuck we want to an ever weakening signal until eventually it'll just be me and you talking to each other. Straight up Voyager, Voyager one and Voyager two. That's <laughs> where the Voyager twins. <laughs> and everyone else is gonna be like, hey, hey, I don't know. Seems like an anime man to me and and we'll be like oh man doge <laughs> oh god i don't recognize this one oh we're over three we're over good, three good. all right how about this one seven wait wait, wait 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 do you not want to find out what anime is it's not that interesting oh it's just ass that's show it <laughs> anime yeah i was about to say that there's no faster yeah no you need you need to you need to find the frequency on this show my man <laughs> All right, here he goes. Let's see. And a man, and a man. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> is it going to be Ariana Grande saying the N word? <laughs> uh, that was the last time. And a man, memes. we went to meme. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, How much said, ass we talking about? Uh, Full ham? Well, that's a fair. Let me see it. Oh, sorry. I was just busy. I was entranced by the ass. <laughs> oh my god! That so was just a naked black man dancing. <laughs> Many naked black men dancing. Yeah. Oh wow! And they're doing more than that. All right. Uh, oh my. <laughs> I think I cut it off just in time for the finger in the butthole. All right. You want to know what? Good meme. <laughs> That's a good meme. I like that meme. <laughs> One, two, buckle my shoe is number seven. <sighs> nope. Nothing. Wouldn't it be great if it was just straight up the wholesome These meme are of... the most Googled <laughs> I memes. I know. We're so dumb. These are the most Googled. We need to watch this all year. We need to have like an alert. Oh God. <laughs> Do you want to be our 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 meme weather reporter that just checks Google Trends Actually, for what be pretty the new great. memes are? I I will add it to my things to do. Okay. All right. Can we look up one, two, buckle my shit? Yeah, no, I'm looking. Uh, 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 by the way, outside of, uh, uh, I think technically that means you could never be uh, an employee if you do that. <laughs> if you're in charge of looking this oh, stuff so up. Oh, so here's the problem is that they're all TikTok memes. Oh. oh. I don't even use TikTok. I can't. I can yeah, it's a viral video. Uh, uh, oh, and they're like shoe roasts. Shoe roasts? Bro, yeah. Here. Here's an hour of it. They don't even know the real song. It's this. Oh, that Okay, so it's just this for an hour. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Number six, the Waffle House new host. Yes. Oh, we have this one. Do you, so, so you do know this one. I do know this one. I don't know it super deep, but I do remember. But, but all right, describe it to your uh, two rapidly fucking aging grandfathers. <laughs> I don't know if I can, but um, okay. it goes a little something like this. <laughs> no, do anime again. That was that was better. <laughs> Sorry. Oh God. Um, do you remember back when like the whole Waffle House video came out and like there was the one in Austin? 
Hold was on. that Austin? Yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we're the lady caught the uh, yeah, chair yeah. like like a like a event. Oh, like a boss. Yeah, that's uh, that was on Ben White. That was on the way to the airport. Oh shit! I think I, yeah. There. Hold on, I actually have it right oh. here. So there was. Wow. That. Okay, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> that was part of it, and then I guess briefly in meme culture somewhere on Reddit or somewhere like there was a dude just commenting like you know Waffle House's new host was this guy, and it just blew up for like. A few weeks. Oh, it was like somebody that was like would be willing to get into a wild brawl melee. Yeah, just fucking around, really. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, how about this number five Smurf cat? Vaguely, I remember seeing pictures every once in a while. All right, how, this is gonna be great, Brian. Google Smurf cat meme. Okay. And Nathan, you 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 do, describe it. Do 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 you know this one already? Yeah, yeah, no, he's gonna do his best. I don't okay. know shit. I'm gonna All disguise right. the fact that I don't know anything by directing people. Okay. Um. Do you want me to like describe Smart. this video? Describe it now. Yeah. Oh, here's hey. here's a compilation incoming. Well, hold on. Wait, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold yeah. On. You he, have yeah, a Smurf. He... Right, right. You have a Smurf. Yes. Yeah. You put a mushroom cap on it. Right. Yep. You take the most long nosed cat that you have. Mm -hmm. Paint its ass blue. Put it on a Smurf. That's the Smurf cat. That's it. And then just music to it. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is just a, a compilation of shit. With a Smurf. Yes. So it's just this sound, and then you eventually find a Smurf. Yes. We let, we live, we love, we lie, and then there's a Smurf. Listen, my generation's humor is broken. I don't know. Uh, no, it's it's actually not bad. It's a bit like like uh, as somebody who uh, is still doing the crooner bit with his family. Like I I can appreciate like the gag it's not, is. It's not bad. It's scared. It's scared because nobody has the balls to go for a punchline, so you hide behind. Uh, but behind, like, aha! It's the thing. It's scatter shot. It's like a. No, the 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 point is you don't get it, and if uh, and and if the point is you don't get it, then everything is funny. Well, welcome to Grandpa's explain comedy to young. <laughs> exactly. <kids>. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'll take. Everything's I'll take been it. downhill since Milton Berle. <laughs> <in my opinion. laughs> Did that you know how really this where the you huge dong was? Comedy. You know. Take my wife. It made sense. We all had wives. We came back from the war. We married. Anyway. <laughs> uh, folding chair, number four. <sighs> I don't know this meme as well. Nope. Oh, really? No. It, You're out on this one? All, I'm out on this one, to be honest. Big strike. Uh, all right. I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to feed the algorithm by saying folding chair. Oh, look. I got as far as F O L. Before it said folding chair meme. Uh, do we have a problem here? Is apparently the joke. Uh, With a folding chair. Yeah. I'm going to go to uh, top hit knowyourmeme.com. Yeah. Why are people making memes about folding chairs? God, we might as well call it grandpa.com. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. It's. Just about folding chairs? Oh shit, I remember that. Okay, hi. Um oh fuck. There was a clip, um, I forget the context of it. Um but essentially, like, I think someone was on a boat. Should not have been on the boat. Oh yeah, yeah. shit! Oh no no, this was like the whole river boat thing. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, no, I think it's a Mississippi river boat. This was a viral video where uh, uh, there was a family that went and uh, uh, somebody was trying. It, it turned into a race thing, and there were a bunch oh, of yeah. black people beating up a bunch of white people, and one of them brought a white folding chair, and that became a meme. That's that. Uh, you know what? I actually, if, if you if you Google riverboat folding chair, you will find the video.
Uh, but also the, the 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 comedic element of it is there's a dude that swims in to get into the fight and starts whipping ass. Okay, but here's what I found. Uh, oh, dug on it. Here we go. Load. Dang it. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. We're waiting now. <laughs> I, I see what he's doing, but I don't know where this is going. Yep. Well, no, that's uh, uh, welcome to the show. <laughs> you got to just go for the ride. No one knows. That's the point. You want to know what? Brian is the original Gen Z humorist. <laughs> You're not quite sure why it's happening, but you just got to go for it. And if you don't get it, it's your fault. I was trying to play the one two. You know what? You're right. Shoot. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Police girl number three. Police girl number three. Um, you know, police girl. Oh, geez. What happened? Oh to the no, good no, old no. Days, this one simple. This one I know. Megan Hall. She was a oh. officer who was exposed. Yep. Uh, uh, for having multiple sexual affairs at her workplace in Tennessee's Laverne Police Department. Uh, and so her face became a meme for somebody that got around. Uh, uh, so it'd be like, oh, uh, uh, meme example. Uh, her, like, like uh, uh, I'm a virgin. Uh, uh, her in real life. And then it would be the picture of the Tennessee policewoman smiling. I, 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 will, uh, I will do, uh, what, was, what was this old meme? It's an old meme, Crazy but it checks girlfriend? out. Uh, yeah, the uh, 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 uncomfort uncomfortable girlfriend. What was that one? Uh, oh, over something. Uh, overly attached girlfriend. Overly attached. That's what it girlfriend. was. Yeah, yeah. So that is that is that is the police girl meme. Uh, number two, Ohio. Okay, I've heard so much, but I, uh, you know, in the vein of I guess Gen Z. I'm not in on the jokes. I barely get it, but I guess just shit happens in Ohio. That's all I got. Wait, uh, Ohio is the new Florida? Kind of. I, I, well, the only thing that I know is the space person meme. What? Sorry, what is the space person meme? So there's the astronaut meme where there's one astronaut and then another astronaut with a gun to its head. Oh. And and uh, the first the, the base meme is, uh, uh, wait, it's all Ohio, so they're looking at Earth, but Earth is like a Pangea of that is in the shape of Ohio, and the astronaut says, wait, it's all Ohio, and then the guy with the gun to his head says, always has been, with the idea being that he is going to keep this secret that the first astronaut is now discovering. That's what I thought the Ohio meme was. I didn't know that there were multiple Ohio memes. I think it. Yeah, I think it's just kind of become like a Florida meme sort of situation where they just dunk on Ohio. I guess. Like I. Really. Yeah. I. Yeah, that's okay. my understanding of it. You know what's funny is I was gonna try to make a joke and say you can't both be a laughing stock and decide every election, but then I realized that works for Florida as well. <laughs> I mean, either are true these days. That's that that was literally the joke I just made, Justin. Wait. That they're both not true? It, uh, my joke was uh you can't both be a laughing stock yeah. and also decide every election, but then I realized that that's true for both Ohio and Florida. And then you said could be either of those. No, I said they they're not. They don't decide elections anymore. Okay. Yeah. I, I wanted to make a, a a snide aside to your funny joke, but now we're here explaining. Oh, both except for you said either instead of neither. And the number two, three meme? The number one. Number one meme. Thank you. Kevin James. Wait, Paul Blart? Oh, are you not up on the Kevin James meme? Nope. Uh, uh, Brian, I don't know the Kevin James meme. Me. <laughs> I, I, you, you, you look like you're doing a, I, you look like you're doing a disapproving face thing. 
Oh, that that that's. Uh, it, it looks like you're doing the, uh, this face right. Yep. Now. <laughs> okay. That's the All right. Whole meme. This is from back in the King of Queens days. King of Queens days. Yeah. It is. It is Kevin James just kind of giving a. Uh, 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 super charismatic Kevin James peak King of Queens smirk and that went viral just remembering that Kevin James was really fucking cool at some point was enough to light the internet of fire so much so that he is the number one meme I uh, I always thought of it as the uh, it's an even older meme like a decade and a half but it's like uh, there was a meme going around that DreamWorks was just Pixar, except for take your main character and have him go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, the the, the 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 DreamWorks face. Yes, exactly. Well, yeah, it's always like it was like like this like half smirk of like. No, <laughs> <laughs> A lot, a lot like this one, as it turns out. That's funny. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, rapid fire, rapid, Ready. rapid, rapid fire. Uh, music. Or, no, sorry, movies. Uh, Brian, how many of these have you seen? Just say yes or no. Cocaine Bear. No. Five Night at Freddy's. No. John Wick, Chapter 4. No. Creed 3. No. The Super Mario Brothers movie. <sighs> yes. Do you have any opinions on it? That was pained. Illumination, uh, Illum Illumination Studio, yeah. uh, uh, I believe, has not created one good movie ever. Full stop. Hmm. Uh, the Minions movies are garbage. The Sing series is garbage. The Mario movie is garbage. Uh, it is... Wait, hold on. I'm just getting this in. Apparently, Illumination just texted me. They said they can't hear you with all the money in their ears. I believe them. I believe them. I've Second never... highest grossing movie of the year. I believe they made a lot of money. I believe the Phantom Menace made a lot of movie money. And a lot of movie. A lot of movie. Too money. much fucking movie, to be totally honest. With you. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is number five. Heck yeah. I saw that. Everything Everywhere All at Once is number four. Wait, this year? Even though we, I guess this it came year. out at the end of I, last I, I, year. I, I think it, it won. got the Oscar it, bump. Yeah, 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 it won the Oscar, and then people caught up with it on streaming and shit like that. Yeah. Sound of Freedom. Ooh, no. Nate, Nathan, have you seen this? I have not seen Sound of Freedom. Justin, you see this? You not, hear about this? I have not seen Sound of Freedom, but I certainly have heard enough discourse about it. This was the independent hit about the uh, organization, the real organization, Operation Underground Railroad, uh, which purports to rescue uh, people who are being child trafficked throughout uh, South America and Central America primarily. There's a lot of back and forth about exactly how true some of the uh, situations are and how staged they are in terms of the uh, viral videos that come out of it. But Sound of Freedom, a gigantic hit. And number two and number one, I feel like should be obvious. They were the two biggest, most talked about movies of the year. They came out on oh. the exact same day. You know what? I feel like we have the advantage on this one. So I'm going to toss it over. Hey, Nathan, oh, can man. you name the number two and number one on the list? They're they came only... out. They came out on the same day. Same day. Two biggest movies of the year. Oh, Oppenheimer and Barbie. Okay. That's right. it. Yeah. Well, you fucked it up by knowing it. This is our one chance to be old men <laughs> who get to rub it in the face of a youngin. And all right. By the way, the number one and number three movies of the year domestically and i think both by the end of the year will have made over a billion dollars along with super mario brothers uh you saw both right brian yeah what was your rank them barbie uh, oppenheimer um i i i'll put barbie remember no matter how you do it you're either a misogynist or a cuck uh, I think I think Oppenheimer was 
uh, was overpraised because I think more. Mm, I I liked Barbie more than Oppenheimer. Cockroach. <laughs> uh, I liked both And that was the, the most exciting part about it It actually made me excited to go back to the movie theaters like that, Because that something day. interesting might happen Well just that like it was a meme And it was almost like Let's all go to Chuck E. Cheese for a day And then we did it And uh, I liked my time there Both the movies were good They were worth talking about And that was really fun I really like had a good time. I I'm very glad that in every respect, both movies have gotten gigantic pushes from it. I'm, I'm, Critically, I'm, I'm, money wise and meme wise, it, it just they all succeeded in in every different level as very fucking different movies. And, and both of them very competent in very different directions. It's so rare that you get a moment like that. Um, you know, one one being satire, the other being, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a biopic. Um, I mean, like, is Barbie satire? That's the other the other thing is that like. Well, I mean that Barbie that's, Barbie is that's the other thing. It's like using satire movie. to the point where you're like, am I unironically watching a commercial? Well, hmm. I think Barbie is at its best when it's a feminist essay. Barbie at its worst is when it's a slapstick comedy because I don't think that Greta Gerwig is naturally talented at that nor do i think the very talented cast that do a lot of other really awesome things in the movie up to and including singing and dancing and being charismatic around each other they're not the three stooges they are not blazing saddles they are not these like vaudevillian comedians that are doing these like great like hey what's up i don't know the moon like kind of uh, uh jokes that are uh, uh in at least the first third of that movie well and uh, m meanwhile i i feel like i need to recuse myself from oppenheimer shit because it's like i've read like fucking seven books on that project and those people and i've read autobiographies from uh, main characters that are in that and and like I, I can't tell what's supposed to be novel and what's supposed to be new on on Oppenheimer uh, and uh, and I know they seemed I'm very saying, very concerned about getting everything historically accurate yes for example do you feel no <laughs> before we get to that my favorite movement my favorite moment in cinema history <laughs> Next to two great moments in cinema history happened this year. Number one, that one time the whale ripped that dude's arm off in Avatar 2. And uh, 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 number Which two. didn't even make the list, apparently. Did not. Oh, wow, look at that, right? Wait, or was that last year? Was that last year or this year? Avatar 2? Avatar 2 I was thought this it was year, February, right? yeah. Yeah, it was February. Uh, uh, no, from, from your perspective as somebody who's read a lot about the uh, Manhattan Project, like, did it get it factually correct? It got enough of it factually correct that I really, really dug it. Like, I, it, it was a neat moment to see that the, the kid from The Boys, who also is one of the voices in a very good cartoon that I can't remember, but uh, uh, Huey from The Boys was portraying Dr. Richard Feynman yeah. playing the bongos and all that shit. Oh fuck! What I, I, he's an invincible, I think. Uh, anyway, um, but uh, uh, there there were so many attentions to detail that I very very much liked. That um, that I, I I think I just lacked. Like I wanted to see, the parts I wanted to see were the parts on the fringes, and I, those are all in yet another seven books deeper down the rabbit hole. And, oh, okay. And so, so result, you, yeah. you, you wanted more of an actual story of the Manhattan project. Oh yeah. This was like, I'm, I'm just like, 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 a, like, a, uh, okay. What, uh, 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 what precursors to building a city did you study before you decided to build a city? And, and gotcha. that's not what the movie was. about. No, the know? movie was about Oppenheimer, kind of a fucked up person yeah. who remains fucked up. Yeah. Is is the main character through this huge moment in world history feels complicated about it and then gets drug out into the streets when the political which by the way is is, is uh, uh, which means 
unequivocally, I have the most douchebag opinion about Oppenheimer. It's like, well, I've just, I'm sorry, it must be that I've read too many books about <laughs> the entire Manhattan Project, including all of the per players in it. Uh, yeah, then there's that one time. <laughs> okay, go ahead. What, uh, that he's, Nathan, he's... Have, you, have, you seen, have you seen the movie? I have not seen Oppenheimer. The All one right. Well, I here I must spoil uh, one scene. Go ahead. Okay. Wait, re spoil. Real quick, uh, is there one quote you know that Oppenheimer is famous for saying? I am become death, destroyer of worlds. Yeah. Okay. If, if, All right. if, remember and, when he said and, it? Oh, it was an interview after like the Manhattan Project was revealed. I think with CBS. And okay. he was talking about like the moment the bomb went off and his thoughts. Uh, you know what? You're a hundred percent right. Yeah. Only more details incoming. <laughs> Uh-oh. So in the movie, and look, I know for a fact, no bullshit, people who have talked to Christopher Nolan, that he very much was extraordinarily concerned knowing the families of everybody who are still alive and care a lot about the accuracy of this story, that he got every detail he could while making this a coherent and interesting and charismatic story as accurate as possible. And there is a scene wherein part of the complication of Robert Oppenheimer's life is that he's married to somebody, but he has this lingering affair with a woman who is a communist. And in the first moment that he has sex with this woman, played by uh, Florence Pugh. She grabs off the shelf a book of Sanskrit. It and says, says, what's this? And, and then makes him read it. Uh, and it, it's his catchphrase. And he says that while he is orgasming into Florence Pugh. <laughs> uh. Oh, Lord. So it's yes, the best scene in movie history, and I will tolerate no slander. I will tolerate no slander. It's the reason why that movie made a billion dollars. Because you can do your black and white movie about J. Robert Oppenheimer and have uh, Albert Einstein come in and be like, I'm Albert Einstein. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Unless you throw in that scene where he nuts in Florence Pugh and says his catchphrase. That's why you need the Batman director to make that movie. Because he knows at some point Batman needs to land on a car, shatter the front windshield, and whisper to some miscreant, I'm Batman. <laughs> and he did that with fucking Oppenheimer. And that's why Christopher Nolan is the greatest living director. All right. Uh, 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 sorry. Also, Barbie was great, but... I can just read your comments in Jezebel critical. Uh, 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 Nathan, you're very patient. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I am having a great time just hearing the shit. All right, enough. All right. Uh, 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 you're not our demo. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. By the way, patreon.com slash great night. Uh, we will have your uh, a bonus podcast. I think the last podcast before the end of the year will be the bones. The last rattling of this year will be on the bones. Patreon.com slash great night. After that, we're going to call it the boners. It is. That's true. We're going to change the name of it to the boners. It sounds like we're a ska band from the 80s. <laughs> We're fully erect and you went home and we stayed alone at the club where the boners. <laughs> uh, you're gonna wrap this up, Brian? Oh, is that is that is, is that all of it? I mean, I don't know. Well, How much more do you want to go? Well, I don't know. I, I I thought there were more lists. I thought they had 75 lists. I thought it was like uh. We can do the, the list just entitled Como. What? Wait, what? Uh, Como sabar si tengo fecha te corte? Okay. Otra vez, por favor. Como moria Carlos Pera? Que película vamos a ver? Como morio Adrena Estrada? Uh, mis dos discos es descompuesto. Como va Guatemala hoy? 
Uh, don't call me Mono. You want to do the uh, Don Day category? <laughs> <laughs> no, what I want to do is figure out like which 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 lullaby we're gonna play this week. <laughs> How about uh, uh, Kien? <laughs> uh, Kien, okay. You want to do Kien? All right. No, here, here, here. Here's here's my new game. Is I'm just gonna type in. Uh, I'm gonna type in Mike TV's email, and I'm gonna look for wherever there's an attachment, and I'm just gonna play whatever i find by the way uh uh google maps top stadiums uh uh that were searched for nrg stadium in houston texas number 10 united center chicago illinois number nine at&t stadium arlington texas number eight wrigley field chicago illinois number seven city field in queens new york number six fenway park in boston number five barclay center brooklyn new york number for Yankee Stadium, Bronx, New York, MetLife Stadium, East, East Rutherford, Rutherford, New Jersey, uh, number two, and number one, the Garden, Madison Square Garden. Uh, until then, New we're gonna York, leave New you York. With, oh, fucking Knicks. With, uh, hey, with the hey, fucking Jalen Brunson, number one. 15th. Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck you. We're I'm gonna, trying to talk about the Knicks. We're gonna hey, hey, no, this is a new character. I'm trying to get characters in. I'm trying to get characters in. Fucking Julius Randle, number one. Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck you, Brushwood. I saw your magic trick. It was good. <laughs> <laughs>